traditional rulers, political leaders, and other stakeholders in the Kari communities of Fafo, Idogun, Imeri, and Idoane gathered at the Idoane Palace Hall for an empowerment program courtesy of Balogun of the community, Chief Olatun Shati, popularly known as Maxima. The event, which offered Chief Oshati another unique opportunity to give back to the society, saw 71 small traders, widows, and other less privileged individuals smart home with cash to boost their businesses. The occasion was graced by the only Mary Obaba Batsundia Deniro, the only Dogun Obaba Moses Bakari, representatives of Alafo and that of Alani, representatives of the lawmaker representing our self-federal constituency in the House of Representatives, Honorable Timenya Delegue and that of the Ondo State Commissioner for Agriculture and Forestry, Olaya Tuaribo, wife of Honorable Oshati and other stakeholders. Addressing the gathering, Honorable Oshati said the gesture was to help the less privileged to boost their businesses, get food on their tables, and put smiles on their faces. Chief Oshati, who is the Balogun of Idwani, explained that his Maxima Vanguard, with the slogan, Community First was formed to primarily fulfill his love for people, specifically by reaching out to the less privileged to live a better life. No fewer than 71 small traders from all political wars in Idogun, Imeri, Afo, and Idoani were provided with cash. Honorable Shati used the occasion to call for unity among stakeholders in the zone as the clock ticks towards 2023 general elections. Let us now go beyond sentiments. I want to have fallen for you now. I want to go to you. And the one that wants to be provided, Lotus Madinigari, and to affair in Roma or Cabinet on Instagram. Let us add their votes in any of our nominations so that I want to leave them more. If we add your two, we will interfere with you. In their remarks, the only Mary of Baba Batunde Adeniro and the only Dogun of Moses Bakare held Chief Oshati for identifying with those in need and egged him to come out and provide leadership that the zone has lacked in the past. <laughs> Now we have no leader. That is the problem Iraqi is suffering. And now look at us here. We are just sitting now and said, we have no leader. <coughs> A leader must come from us. I thank God that he's back. <laughs> we need you. We need you more than you need yourself. We want people like you to go forward for us. Oh, the event was the fifth in the series of Maxima Empowerments in Erikari communities in memory of his late parents, High Chief D.K. and Mrs. Deborah Oshati, as farmers and artisans have also benefited from his caring heart through supply of farm implements and other working tools. As if that was not enough, Honorable Oshati also distributed 35 ox fans to churches and mosques, among other initiatives. He was born into the family of the late High Chief Dikke Oshati, the Salaja of Idoane Kingdom, and had his primary education in Lagos and secondary at Irekari High School, Idoane, or Seloku Government Area. He later moved to Yaba College of Technology, Lagos, where he received his ordinary national diploma and higher national diploma certificates in business administration and his master's degree from the Ondo State University, now Ekiti State University, at Doekiti. Chief Olatunji Oshati, popularly and politically known as Mazima, has written his name in gold through a number of community services, including providing scholarships to indigent students. Uh -huh. yeah.